Japan is flourishing with all the successes in robotics with multifunctional as properly as female humanoid robots. The Japanese home market has already started out the usage of these progressive and coolest robots throughout all industries to enhance productivity and decorate consumer engagement. Robotics in Japan has officially left the world in awe. Want a robot to prepare dinner, do your homework, smooth your house, or get your groceries? Robots already do a lot of the jobs that we female human beings do not prefer to do, cannot do, or without a doubt cannot do as properly as our robotic counterparts. In factories around the world, disembodied robotic fingers bring together cars, delicately surround suites into their boxes, and do all kinds of tedious jobs. There are even a handful of robots on the market whose sole job is to vacuum the ground or mow your lawn. In this video, we are going to talk about the new female humanoid robots that Japan has just revealed. But before that, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. In the world, about half of the robots are made in Japan. For example, the world market for industrial robots in 2011 was once $8.497 billion, of which Japanese businesses accounted for a share of 50.2%. On the other hand, the international market and extensive experience such as digital packaging robots was about $13.369 billion, of which Japanese firms accounted for 57.3%. Biggest robot market in the world ranked second. Not solely the manufacturing and introduction of robots, additionally, the market of robots is genuinely large in Japan. As of 2015, Japan is the second biggest market for the income of robots in the world due to the fact of having many superior factories producing vehicles and electronics. Besides, the robotics enterprise is more vital in Japan than in the US. Japan employs over a quarter of a million industrial robotic workers. In the subsequent 15 years, Japan estimates that the range to leap to over 1 million and they anticipate income for robotics to be close to 70 billion by 2025. The influence of Japanese robot culture has on the robot industry. The motives why Japan grew to be the most superior robotic nation are due to the fact of no longer solely a high-level technology. Additionally, A has an effect on the Japanese robotic culture. Japan has many comics, novels, and animations about robots considering the fact that the 1950s. The first well-known robotic anime comic was Astro Boy in 1951. Since then, such as Mazinger Z, Gundam, Robotech, Evangelion, Transformers, and so on, many robot-themed productions originated in Japan. Japan's most successful and most advanced female humanoid robot is Asimo. This video will discover what makes Asimo the most superior female humanoid robot to date, the world-leading female humanoid robot. Asimo is a female humanoid robot designed and developed in Japan. As of 2015, Asimo is the world's most superior female humanoid robot. Introduced in 2000, Asimo used to be designed to be a multifunctional cell assistant. With aspirations of supporting those who lack full mobility, Asimo is often used in demonstrations worldwide to motivate them to learn about science and mathematics. At 130 centimeters tall and 48 kg, Asimo was once designed to function in real-world environments, with the capacity to stroll or run on two feet at 6 km per hour. Asimo is now part of the Innoventions appeal at Disneyland and has been featured in a 15-minute exhibit for 12 months 2005. Japanese engineers have been busy growing the Asimo robot for more than 20 years. Japan developed Asimo, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, and is the most superior female humanoid robot globally. According to the Asimo website, Asimo is the first female humanoid robot in the world that can stroll independently and climb stairs. In addition to Asimo's potential to stroll as we do, it can additionally apprehend pre-programmed gestures and spoken commands, understand voices and faces, and interface with IC communication cards. Asimo has palms and fingers, so it can do things like flip on mild switches, open doors, elevate objects, and push carts. Rather than constructing a robot that would be every other toy, it desired to create a robot that would be a helper for female human beings, a robot to assist around the house, assist the elderly, or assist any person constrained to a wheelchair or bed. As a result, Asimo is 4 feet 3 inches high, which is simply the proper top to seem eye to eye with anyone seated in a chair. This permits Asimo to do the jobs it used to create, barring being too huge and menacing. Often referred to as searching like a kid carrying a spacesuit, Asimo's pleasant look and non-threatening measurement work nicely for the functions had in the idea when developing it. Asimo is simply four toes three inches tall. 
Asimo is simply four toes three inches tall. Asimo should also do jobs that are too risky for female human beings, like going into hazardous areas, disarming bombs, or battle fires. Asimo's motion walk like a female human. To mimic female human physiology, Asimo's physiology is developed. Japanese researchers started by analyzing the legs of insects, mammals, and the movement of a mountain climber with prosthetics legs to better apprehend the physiology and all of the matters that take location when we stroll, in particular in the joints. For example, the reality that we shift our weight by using our bodies and mainly our hands to stabilize was once very necessary in getting Asimo's strolling mechanism right. The truth that we have toes that assist with our stability used to be additionally taken into consideration. Asimo in reality has smooth projections on its feet that play a comparable position to the one our toes play when we walk. This tender cloth additionally absorbs and impacts the joints as our smooth tissues do when we walk. Asimo has hip, knee, and foot joints. Robots have joints that researchers refer to as degrees of freedom. A single diploma of freedom lets in motion both proper and left or up and down. Asimo has 34 ranges of freedom unfolding over one-of-a-kind factors of its physique in order to permit it to pass freely. There are three stages of freedom in Asimo's neck, seven on every arm and six on every leg. The range of ranges of freedom vital for Asimo's legs was once determined with the aid of measuring female human joint motion whilst on foot on flat ground, mountaineering stairs, and running. Asimo additionally has a velocity sensor and a gyroscope sensor hooked up on its body. They perform the duties of sensing the role of Asimo's body and the velocity at which it is moving, relaying changes for stability to the central computer. These sensors work similarly to our internal ears in how they hold stability and orientation. Asimo additionally has flooring floor sensors on its feet and six ultrasonic sensors in its midsection. These sensors beautify Asimo's capability to interact with its surroundings via detecting objects around Asimo and evaluating gathered data with maps of the region saved in Asimo's memory. To accomplish the job, our muscle groups, pores, and skin do in sensing muscle power, stress, and joint angles. Asimo has each joint angle sensor and a six-axis pressure sensor. Unless you comprehend a lot about robotics, you may additionally no longer wholly draw close to the high-quality milestone that Asimo walks as we do. The most widespread section of Asimo's stroll is the turning capabilities. Rather than having to end and shuffle, quit and shuffle, and end and shuffle into a new direction, Asimo leans and easily turns simply like a female human. Asimo can additionally self-adjust its steps in case it stumbles, is pushed, or in any other case encounters something that alters regular walking. Asimo senses. In robotics, imaginative and prescient is a captured photo that is interpreted based totally on program templates. In a manufacturing environment where robotic hands construct vehicles or robots investigate the microscopic connections on semiconductor chips, you are dealing with a managed environment. The lights are usually the same, the perspective is usually the same, and there is a confined quantity of matters to seem to be at end understand. In the actual and unstructured world, however, the wide variety of matters to appear at and recognize will increase greatly. A female humanoid robot that needs to navigate via homes, buildings, or outside whilst performing jobs have to be in a position to experience the many objects it sees. Shadows, peculiar angles, and motion ought to be understandable. For example, to stroll on its own into an unknown area, a robot would have to notice and apprehend objects in actual time, deciding on facets such as color, form, and edges to evaluate to a database of objects or environments aware of. There can be lots of objects in the robot's memory. Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more. See you soon. For more, 